Two big events are coming up this month to benefit Detroit's crown jewel, Belle Isle. And joining us this morning is Sarah Early, president of the Belle Isle Conservancy, and Chef Tony McVeigh of TM Catering to talk about those very special events. And we'll get to the menu selection that you are going to be playing a pivotal role in in just a moment. But the two events that you guys have planned, the first event, Pathways... Pathways to the Garden. Tell me about that. Pathways to the Garden is about six years old. This is um, an event that we do to benefit the Belle Isle Conservatory. Okay. So the funds that we've raised from that event um, are always used in the garden. We've restored the paths, we've put railings, we've restored the steps. It sounds very uninteresting maybe to someone, but it's a great way to, to polish up that area to make the paths more um, presentable and safe. Sure. No one has paid attention to that in quite some time, and it really showcases our beautiful Marshall Frederick sculpture that's in the middle of the gardens. And the island obviously needs uh, love to be appreciated by future generations, and a lot of folks may be unaware that the love that takes place is largely due to the conservancy. Tell me about that. We have been doing a lot to raise funds for projects in the park. We've done the restoration of Sunset Point, which put a brand new um, comfort station in there. It, we put paths and benches and a garden. It's a beautiful, peaceful place at the western tip of the island. It looks down towards the Ambassador Bridge and the Detroit skyline. It's now accessible to anybody with a stroller, uh, a sure. cane, you know, a walker, whatever, and you couldn't get out there before. So that makes that beautiful, serene space more accessible. And the jewel that Belle Isle is definitely needs to uh, maintain its luster. And you have another event that's taking place. That one is on September 19th, and it is uh, being hosted or emceed by our own Carolyn Clifford, and it is appropriately uh, titled Polish the Jewel. Tell me about that event. That's where the uh, menu selection we'll be making today comes from. That's correct. We, a chef is going to be preparing a beautiful luncheon uh, salad for us, and we have about five who attend that luncheon every year. It is one of our signature fundraising events. We have raised over $300,000 every year from that event. It's, it's part of what funds our, our projects and our um, initiatives in the park and going forward it's a very important thing we get a great attendance it is a you know you must um, m can't miss event and see and be seen and lots of lots sure, of sure sure lots of women from across the metropolitan area support this event so as we're well happy as to see them. the salad the chef is going to be prepared yes. for us tell me about that what, well, what exactly this is, is a, this is an, uh, a bib artichoke salad that I'm going to be preparing today I'm going to be displaying with the apple cranberry chicken rotellini and it's going to be garnished with a little side of rice melange and yogurt so that's what I'm going to be displaying for you today. Okay, so what, what goes into this salad? Ingredients, we got a little garden cucumbers, we have garden tomatoes, we have red peppers, we have the artichokes, we have black uh, olives, okay. red onions, and uh, balsamic vinegar. About two ounces we toss it with. A little quick stir on that. So something very, very light, very, very healthy. Light, very healthy, very tasty, uh, you know, really light. Nice, nice for this time of year especially for this time of year. And then you have the uh, the chicken roll, which I've been uh, yes, eyeing up here. Yes, stuff with cranberry and raisin, and it's going to be served with an apple brandy uh, sauce there, and uh, really tasty. And, of course, as with always, with the items that we have when we have any sort of uh, cooking demonstration, mm -hmm. all of the ingredients are on our website. Yes. So folks yes, can uh, try to make this themselves. But I would imagine that unless you have the years of expertise, <laughs> it, may turn, yeah. it may not turn out quite as uh, beautifully as this did. Maybe not. Maybe not. But it's, it's very simple to make. Uh, the ingredients are very simple. Nothing is uh, overwhelming, you know. Very okay. simple, you know. Really simple. And we're talking about the conservancy and, and, and needing help and the money and the work that you guys do. Folks, I would imagine, can donate or otherwise attend one of these events and help out that way. Absolutely, absolutely. The tickets are available um, online at our BellisleConservancy.org website, so you can go there to purchase a ticket. You can also obviously donate to the sure, Conservancy sure. for whatever their efforts are there as well, and, and we welcome all the support. You know, we, we look at our efforts as preserving and protecting this park. Sure. The park is there today. We want it to be there for the next generations. We are just entrusted with its care and its protection to make sure that our children and their children have this beautiful park that's been there for over 100 years. And we have information on our website that will link you to the Conservancy, as well as other information about these upcoming events. And that is, once again, on our website, wxyz.com.